Okay, this video is to show you how to model a part to precise dimensions using Tinkercad. So this particular simple part is something that we had already modeled in SketchUp, um, and you see that it has some very precise dimensions. Okay, so um, to produce this part in Tinkercad, I'm going to begin by dragging a rectangular prism into the box and setting the length, width, and height. So I know that my width here is 30 millimeters, um, length is 55, and height is 10. So I'll come in here for my length, type 55, 30 millimeters, and 10 millimeters. Okay, and either hitting tab or enter will um, initiate that. So our block is done, and we're going to need to put two cylindrical holes in there. You see the transparency indicates that these are holes, but any object in Tinkercad can be toggled um, between a solid and a hole. And of course if you group a solid with the hole, as we'll do at the end, um, you end up placing a hole in the solid. So let's get the precise dimensions on these holes. One is 9 millimeters, one needs to be 22 millimeters. In Tinkercad, I can just select that object, and given this option for changing one of the sizes, I'm not exactly sure how to see all of those dimensions at the same time, but uh, we certainly can change this to 22, and then uh, change this dimension to 22, hitting Enter or tab to initiate that. Okay, um, you know sometimes <clears throat> I don't know if it's with the double click or if I just have to find the right oh click on a corner how about that and then we see both become available so 9 tab to the other dimension 9. So I have these properly sized uh, holes now and they just need to be placed. Uh, one thing I could do is select these objects and use uh, the alignment, um, which the shortcut key is just L. I hit the L on the keyboard to, uh, li to line these shapes up. Okay, L again. However, um, we, need, we need to be able to type in some very precise distances. So I want to show you a different technique, which is to use the ruler to uh, line everything up exactly as we want. So I'm just going to take the ruler tool here and place it very precisely on the snap grid at that intersection. Okay, and I'm going to switch over to a top view. And uh, right now I have an orthographic projection. So you can see in perspective view, uh, we're going to, you know, we're going to see some different edges. Uh, now we have a parallel projection, which gives us a nice clean top view for laying this out. Okay, uh, the small holes should be centered and 10 millimeters from the edge and the larger holes should be uh, 10 plus 30 or 40 millimeters from this edge. So uh, the first thing I want to do is place my block uh, with a corner directly at that origin of the ruler. You'll notice when I select the block I see these dimensions that I can now manipulate and I could even change the size of the block. Uh, from this view. But what I'm interested in is this distance from the origin in green here. So this is 36 millimeters from the origin to the midpoint. Uh, if I click on use endpoint, okay, now this is giving me a distance from the endpoint here to the origin. And that's the distance that I want to make equal zero. I'll type in zero. And you see how that brought this uh, in the y direction to the origin. Now I have this little bit of offset in the x. I'm going to make that 0 as well. And you can either just wait and that adjustment will happen, or you can hit Enter or Tab to speed that up. You see that the corner is now directly in the origin. And I can uh, the ruler is still active, so just clicking on this circle is going to allow me to adjust uh, the circle to where I want it. Now, looking here at the drawing, um, the dimension I have is 10 millimeters to the center 
right? So uh, I want to change this to use midpoint. And now we're, we're, we, we would be changing this dimension to 10 millimeters uh, to the center. And just double check to get this centered up. I want this to be, because the whole block is 30 millimeters wide, if I change the distance from corner to center to 15, that's going to center that up for me. Okay, I'll click on this circle now, and I know that I want this circle uh, to the center to be 40 millimeters. How do I know that? Um, I just remember that from my drawing. But from this edge to the center of the circle is 10 plus 30 or 40 millimeters, okay, which is set now. And of course, this is not centered either, so I just need to change this distance to the midpoint to 15. And <clears throat> this, in terms of alignment, we are done. And the last uh, step here is I can, I can click the X to dismiss the ruler. I just need to control A or uh, select all using either the shift key or dragging inside the box. And now uh, my group function, I'm sorry that that's not in view in the display here, but I can either click the group button, which is up here, or use control G. Okay, control G is the shortcut. You'll see that uh, control G caused that grouping to happen. And we have, go back to perspective view here, um, I think successfully produced this part.